Dan Perkins, Jasper County cover crop guy. I am in a field north of Rensselaer that had the wild flowering radish last year, but also had strips of clover and annual ryegrass. And this grower, because of the wild radish, wanted to disc in uh, the radish before it went to seed. He did that mid-November, and he also dissed this annual ryegrass, which you can't really see because it's just breaking out of dormancy because we've actually had a normal spring. But we will be digging a soil pit here on Thursday. And I kind of wanted to just show you what even just digging with a, a spade can do. And um, this is a sandy loam soil. And here's a clump that I'm holding up. This is about eight inches thick. And you can just see those roots dangling down. And what the grower here, and what he's accomplishing with this is mimicking, if you've ever plowed up or dissed in an old fence row, and what are your best, when's your best yields? It's for the first couple of years after then, that one spot, right? Well, this cover crop, annual ryegrass, mimics that fence row effect by having this massive root that f is feeding your biology that's working for you all late fall, early spring, and even midwinter. And if you're gonna build organic matter, if you're gonna improve your soil, you need to provide food and habitat for your biology. And these roots, because your biology wants to feed on carbon, and that's what these roots give it. They give, they give the plant carbon, uh, the microbes carbon, and then your biology exudes um, nutrients and um, glomulins and exudates um, that those biology feeds on, then are able to build soil. And what I mean by that is building organic matter, essentially. That's kind of the big indicator. And... When we're able to do that, and this is a sandy loam soil, you're never normally able to pick a sod up, pick a clump up like this, and have it hold together. What you're having is soil aggregate stability, so this kind of crumbly action, that's exactly what you want. It's like a nice tilled seed bed, right? Except here, our roots are doing that tillage, our biology is doing that for us. And that's kind of the whole idea of what we want to try to mimic, that old fence row. And when we build organic matter, that's equivalent to about a one inch rain in July or August. Last year, that would have been a yield increase. 20, 30 bushels to the acre for corn, possibly. Um, especially in sandy soils. So despite this grower having dissed this mid-November because of weed concerns with the radish, uh, this annual ryegrass has still done a lot of good. And on Thursday, we'll dig a soil pit out here to see how deep those roots actually got even though this annual ryegrass doesn't even look that big. It's what's underneath that we're concerned about and what's really building benefit and productivity for us.